most people, urinating is simply a daily activ activity for ridding the body of waste. But for some people, urine opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. On this special episode of somewhere between one and five minutes, we will be exploring the different sides of urine consump consumption. I'm Frances Brookman, and thank you for joining us on this very special episode. Hi, I'm here with Princess Consuela Banana Hammock, a proprietor of Europhasia or Urine Drinking. Hello there. Hello. So tell me, what is it about urine drinking that you like? Well, first of all, I mean, you always have it on hand. You need to go to the bathroom, you get that out of the way as well as quenching your thirst. I really don't see why that's such a difficult thing to understand. It's like I'm my own little urine refrigerator. That's warm, so it's like a microwave. And you know, some people have concerns. They're like, why would you drink your pee? Princess, that's such a weird thing to do. It's so odd. And I'm just like, pee is 95% water. And everyone drinks water. Dolphin swimming water. There's water in the toilet. Why not? So logically, it's sense that 95% of us would like to drink urine. I mean, hello? Urine is free. It's always been free. Except that time in Pompeii when they taxed the urine. And do you know what happened to Pompeii? They all died. But for the most of it, it's free. If you did not buy all the liquid you buy, in your household in a year, you would save $6,000. <laughs> That's a lot. Other things about urine you should know, it's sterile, which you know is always a good thing. Only if you catch it midstream though. You have to let approximately five milliliters go out and then you insert into the stream and remove. Insert and remove, it's a finesse. It takes practice, but you can do it. Don't you have any concerns? Side effects? Well, when I did start my uh, little habit, as it is called by some, my husband left me and he took the kids. Because he said I smelled like pee, which I thought was a gross overstatement. But, you know, I didn't like him anyway. That's just side effects. I, uh, I've had luscious hair growth since then. I just, I think it's really, Added to my uh, my my beauty, some, you know, I haven't had to wash my hair in like a year. <laughs> Would you like to try some? No thanks. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay then. Well, thank you for joining us. Next up, Alligator Dave showing us how to survive in the wild with only your urine. I'm here with Alligator Dave, and he's gonna show us how to survive in the desert using only your urine. <laughs> I broke. Hi, I'm Alligator Dave. Thank you for joining us today. Not a problem. I'm gonna show you what to do in case you're stranded and can't find water in these parts. Okay. Follow me. All right. Come on, catch up. <laughs> First, take the sock. Roll it up real quick. Get some of this anti dirt over here. Fill it up. That should be good. Alright. You might not want to watch this part. I might have to go pee right quick. So we got this pee here. I'm gonna pour it in here and get a little purification going. Yeah, just fill this sock up right quick. It's gonna give it a quick sterilization. You just pour it right in your mouth. It's a little grainy, but it's gonna keep me from dehydrating out here in the wild. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Thank you, Alligator Dave. And now, now we have with us Dr. Devahaka Tutharaja. Welcome, Dr. Devahaka Tutharaja. 
Can you please tell us about the harmful effects that urine does to your body? <laughs> well, that's interesting. Would you, what would you say about those who dispute those claims? <laughs> Excellent information, Dr. Davahaka Tutharaji. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining this special episode of Somewhere Between One and Five Minutes. While the events depicted in this video were entirely humorous, we would not advise you to do any of the above or below listed, whatever we just did. None of this stuff was tested by science or proof, and we found it mainly from creepy stories about midwives and random Egyptians who lived in the 17th century who did most of these things. Any year-related deaths are not our faults, and any names that sound slightly familiar to your own name are entirely coincidental. No dogs were harmed in the making of this film, but we would not advise drinking urine on your dog because no, it does not cure canine.